home sweet home. <laughs> down here in my dungeon, sitting down here trying to figure out, you know, what went wrong, what I did wrong, what I did right. You know, just as a recap on Lake Seminole. You know, there's a lot of different things to, to look at over this deal. And I'm down here, like I said, I'm taking some time, I'm going through my footage, going through the cameras. And like I said, just like a lot of the guys, we're watching game films and uh, going back through the footage to see what I did wrong, you know, and try to learn from, from watching the footage on the cameras, pick up from there. And like I said, my game plan when I went down there was to fish Spring Creek. I just really felt like Spring Creek was an area that, that most of the tournaments are won in. I mean, it's not a game, or it's not it's not a uh, guessing game. Most all the big tournaments are won out of Spring Creek. And everybody, I think a lot of guys thought that, except for Brian Latimer. And congrats to Brian Latimer for uh, winning that deal out of the Flint, you know. But in Spring Creek, a whole lot of that area has no charting in it. So it's kind of just a, a big blind area in there. So one thing I was able to do with the Garmin's was I could go to the quick draw charts and, and I spent a lot of time in their island bouncing and banging off of stumps just so I could figure out the contours in there. And that was really key for me anyway in my practice there on Tuesday. I had a really good day of practice on Tuesday and it seemed like to me all those fish were, were on the edge. They kept, you know, they were on an edge. And by doing all that charting with the Garmin's, I could find those edges on there. And that was that was a big, big key. And then, you know, tournament day, you know, I end up, I catch a uh, limit there for about 10 pounds on, on day one. Day two, I'm still, I still don't have a clue what happened on day two. I had three bites and that was it. So, you know, I'm trying to figure out, learn, uh, regroup, get ready to go. You know, like I said, I pack my stuff up, head back to the classic here this week and work that show and then come back home and unpack, repack the boat completely and uh, be ready to go to Grand Lake. We'll go fish some rocks, no more grass for, for a few tournaments and that's a good thing for me right now. So a little bit on my setup, like I said, a uh, loose ledge rod with a hyper mag reel on 8-3 to 1, Seaguar and Biz X. But the key I think was the worm, you know, I just threw a bull worm the whole time and uh, I could wind a worm, you know. I tried that for a while and worked okay, but dragging this this big bull worm seemed like I got better bites, you know. I put a tungsten weight on there and just drug that thing around. I put a six out high busa hook on there, you know, an EWG, good heavy hook, because I mean they got some big old fish here in Seminole when you can make them bite. So regroup, get ready to go and uh, head to Grand. Look out. I'm ready to get even with them on this one. So that's my recap on Lake Seminole.